Okay. Let's let's run with this for a bit and see see where it takes us. Uh, we're not gonna need these then. I'm uh, yeah, I'm totally making this up right now. <laughs> it was not not what I had planned, but you know, sometimes these things just happen naturally, right? Welcome back, everybody. Satisfactory on the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we are going to finish Tier 7. Um, and then uh, the plan is going to be to finish our Steel Factory building and buy some stuff off the awesome shop. So the last thing we have to get here is monorail train technology. And I believe I have all of the stuff to do that. So we got computers. We've got heavy modular frames, we've got steel beams, and we've got steel pipes. And there we go. Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. All right, in addition awesome. to built and oh. power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Nice. Okay, so that's it. We have achieved tiers, or sorry, five and six. That's what I meant. Okay. So we still have seven and eight to go, uh, but all these milestones in both tiers five and six are done. Uh, I did this one off camera. And uh, that got us the fuel generator, the conveyor belt, and uh, Mark IV conveyor belt, and the lift. And we already had Caterium scanning, uh, I guess, from just finding it. So, all right, let's see here. So, lots to do. Uh, the first thing I noticed is, well, actually, I noticed this a while back, is I'm five short on the structural beam thingamadoodles. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but we're going to need to to fix that. And um, I've been given some thought to how we're going to make the parts for the space elevator for completing phase three. And I thought maybe what we would do is set up a temporary production, uh, you know, semi-automated production line, maybe over here to make both of those things. And then we could either use a truck to deliver it or we could set up um, a train for our, you know, which will be the very first time for myself setting that up to do it. Um, and I haven't really decided yet which which way we're going to do that. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, is that the Huzuma was it's the, the thing that we need a hundred of. Something adaptive control unit, that's what that's called. That thing actually takes smart plates. And we're making smart plates for, um, uh, just for the sink that, you know, we made for phase one. So what I was thinking about doing is going um, over to the base, uh, the original base, and rerouting those down the belt and, s and start to store those up. Uh, so let's actually get that set up first before we run down there. Um, so I'm going to need an AI limiter so we can make a smart splitter for that. And um, I'm going to put them on this middle belt because it's the one that's the least used. Uh, but as far as how I'm going to actually set all this stuff up, though, that's unknown at this point. So I think what we'll do... Is let's just grab a storage bin and we'll put it right here. Uh, no, actually, we need to move that over. Put it right in the center of this tile here. And then what we'll do is we'll get ourselves a smart splitter. And 
and we'll put that up here. Cannot connect build walls in design. What? what? The hell are you talking about, man? Cannot connect buildables in a designer to world buildables. Hello? We're not in the designer. Why is it? Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Okay. Can I, um, here, let's actually land uh, here. Can I use control to lock that in? I've seen that error before, and it's just really odd. Um... Alright, let's try it from back down here again. Okay, now it's working. So we can line ourselves up on the line here. Make sure we're facing due west, and then make sure we're facing due west, and that's going to be close enough. Not perfect, but close enough. Alright, so now what we're going to do is tell this thing to um, out the right-hand side. Um... We want it to do smart plating. All right, now let's get this and bring it just down to here. This is a, a very temporary. Whoops, a very temporary situation. And we'll run that into there. I know that's a Mark 1 lift, but these things are going to come very, very slow, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we got that taken care of. So let's run over to... Um, let's actually make those other five pieces that we're short on. Versatile framework. So we just need um, five modular frames and 60 steel beams. Let's just load those in. Yeah, let's just throw them in manually until it makes five of them. So it looks like it'll take it, take it a minute to do that. I thought I had overclocked the shit out of this thing. Now let's do it. Yeah, that's really weird. I could have sworn I had a, a full 2,500 of those, but something happened. That's all right. There we go. Okay. You, um, here, let's just pull this stuff back out of there. That works. So we'll, we'll put these uh, other five in, you know, to get that taken care of. And we'll reroute that smart plating um, along this belt so we can start accumulating it because we're going to need it to make those adaptive control units. I don't remember. Here, let's, uh. Adaptive. Oh no, that that needs the automated wiring. It's the other the other thing, the modular motor, module engine. So that needs okay shit, we're gonna need a thousand of these suckers. <laughs> Alright, well they'll accumulate over time. Um, you know, because I might as well use them because right now I'm just throwing them in the sink, you know. Let's go to here. And we'll put uh, the rest of those in there so we have the full 2,500. And this extra one we'll just throw in here. Okay, so this, it's this here that we want to add to the center line in here. But... Okay, so is there possibly an available merger for that line? There's This merger is available, but that's the other line. Not that we couldn't do that either. Why don't we just pop a merger down here and uh, we can line it up with whatever the hell that was. So at least we know it's on the grid. And then we're going to cut that belt and bring this over to here. There we go. 
Okay, yeah, so that'll just start routing these smart planes. I think we're making four of these per minute. We've got two... Uh, we've got two assemblers making two per minute. Yeah, so we're making a total of four of these per minute. So that's going to take a while to build a thousand of those up. But at least it'll be working on it while we're doing other things. And, yeah, I know it kind of blocks the road a little bit, but we can still work around that. We still have our tractor, of course, that we could use to haul the stuff down here. Um, and, you know, this is already all hooked up on this end. So it can just start loading things up. I don't think it matters which of these... Um, holes that we use, or maybe it does. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if it does, we'll we'll switch it up. But anyway, the point being is, you know, this this station's already good to go, um, but we'll have to reset up the station on the other end. And I'd like to maybe use the truck just for fun, just because we can, you know. Um. So. Let's just take you and we'll just park you kind of over here, out of the way. There we go. Okay, I'll see you back at the West Coast factory. You know, uh, as I've mentioned before, this is... This is all new territory for me. It's as far as I've ever been in the game. And, you know, just kind of note to myself for future reference, you know, we should build up a thousand of those things, you know, um, on the next playthrough and just store them until we need them for this part of the space elevator. I just didn't know we were going to need to use them again. Oh, I did set up that fuel factory there. Too. So now that's creating, that's a permanent installation, sending normal fuel, package fuel down the line uh, in, in our third uh, final storage bin that we currently have set up. And of course we'll use that for vehicle fuel. I don't know if the truck can run on coal or not, because um, I have coal for fuel on that end, but we'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to figure that one out. Okay, so this this will start bringing down smart plating. But yeah, like I said, that's going to take a while. All right. So uh why don't we let's 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 get going on this. I, I want to get it done. <laughs> want to get it done. Um and then I'm going to have to give some thought to, you know, how I'm going to build out our uh, our semi-automated production lines to build the modular engines and the adaptive control units. But my tentative plan, like I said, is to do all of that out here and set up a truck station and have and, and we'll build a big truck um, just just to do it, you know, and kind of check it out. One of these guys. And have that, you know, make the deliveries. I don't think I'm going to use a train for that because, we're you know, we're going to we're going to the assumption is we'll be using trains for bigger and, and better things later on. So we'll get to those when the time comes. Very good. All right. So we want to buy some stuff in the awesome shop. Let's go get our coupons. So last time I looked, we had over 50, and we probably have quite a bit more than that now. Yeah, 59. Look at that. Okay, let's print them out. Very nice. I love this jetpack for getting around. It's amazing. Let's make some purchases. So, what we're going to do is, uh, let's go to Customizer, and I want to buy the coated concrete foundation. That's what gives us the shiny floor inside the factory, and we've, we've purchased all of that stuff. I want, I, I'm pretty sure I do want that eventually, but for this build, we're going to use the metal roof. Let's hold off on those two things for now. Um, I'm just trying to think. 
If I, I, I don't think I'm going to do any of that stuff for now either. We might come back to it. All right, architecture. I want the frame pillar set, I believe. I will want these eventually, but not for what we're doing today. I do want these structural frame sets. Uh, I also want these industrial walkways. Uh, not sure if I want those stairs yet. Let's hold off on that. Metal pillar set. Industrial railing. Yeah, let, let's get that too. That's only one coupon. Okay, we'll hold off on everything else there. For walls, um, we have tilted walls and inverted ramp wall bundle. We'll want that eventually, but I'm not planning on using it for today. And kind of the same thing for that stuff too. Clean pipeline. I'm not concerned about that signs yeah uh, billboard sign portrait display sign light control panel uh, let's get the billboard sign okay so that's 37 tickets for just that stuff alone that's quite a bit of stuff though so let's let's buy that we still have 22 tickets left That's two meters by one meter, two by three. I'm sure we're going to want those at some point. I'm just not sure if I want them right this second. Let's go back to walls and let's go ahead and get both of these. I'm not planning on using those for this, but I might change my mind. So uh, let's get the metal pillars in the roof corners. Um, the thing that I don't like about these stairs is they're really, they're really shallow. Customizer. Let's get the glass roof. And what the hell, let's get the tar roof as well. Okay, that's, that's 20. We have two more points. Here, let's just buy all that stuff. Pathway patterns. Small crosswalk. Factory zone. We already did those. Um, oh, we don't have enough for that anyway. That's six points. All right. Let's yeah. Let's get the arrow patterns too. And that that's pretty much it. <laughs> we don't have. We have one coupon. Um, that, I didn't, did I have any extra in here, actually? Nope, I didn't. This, this is where I would keep it if I had an extra one. Okay, we're back to zero coupons, and it's going to take even longer to get back where we were, but that's okay. That's what they're for, um, buying this cool stuff. All right, let's see here. So, how about if we... Let's get the front wall done first. And I want, we're gonna need silica, and we're gonna need steel beams, because what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use these full frame windows. For the front of our factory. Okay, so I'm just going to go right on down the line and add these all in. Excellent. Okay, that's done. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, put all of the the beams in place here across the top and down every fifth window that 
It does that way. Okay, so I guess we need it going sideways first. Which just does seem a little bit odd, but whatever. We'll put a connector there. This is our next seam right here. All right, so for this next part, um, we need to get up here. And we're gonna walk around this way. I'm gonna go to the one meter wall. And I'm gonna hold it into there and the reason for that is because then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this guy and put it there so we have an overhang um I wonder too if would it be possible to grab that no it's not going to attach sideways because I was going to maybe try and pull it out this way a little bit also you know so it also overhangs out here we could maybe accomplish that in a different way though what if we temporarily uh did something like this hmm. you know the thing is if I don't do this right though it's gonna it's gonna cause some other problems I I didn't actually I, I plan this part I just kind of had a moment of inspiration here what if we okay what if we took a half foundation yeah this might be what we need to do um, the reason I want to use a half foundation is because if I don't you know then the the roof tiles aren't going to uh, come together correctly. You know, we could almost leave this here as a soffit. Except for if we did that. Um, would we want to... Maybe make it a grip metal? That could work. Okay. Let's let's run with this for a bit and see see where it takes us. Uh, we're not going to need these then. I'm uh yeah, I'm totally making this up right now. <laughs> it was not not what I had planned, but you know, sometimes these things just happen naturally, right? Alright, I want to look at something now. Um, is that going to look okay as a soffit? The only other option I can think of that would work size-wise are the catwalks. Um, so, what do these look like underneath? Oh, that could be interesting. Ooh, I like that, actually.
I like that a lot better. Okay, that's what we'll do. Has more, more character to it. It, it, <laughs> it does look kind of weird though with that. That stuff sticking out like that. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, when there, there's nothing else that we can do about that though. Okay, so let's just run this all the way down. Okay, yeah, I think this is going to look cool. And again, this is this part of it, this whole soffit idea was not part of my original plan. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, now we want you to go there and you to go here to there. And then we're just going to keep doing that back and forth until we get the the whole thing done. Uh, hello? There. All right, so, so the top, very top of the roof is going to be flat, but that's okay because I have a plan for that. All right, now um, what I'm going to do... something out here I might want to we might end up coloring this black let's just do that now but I may change my mind on it later or we could we could Put this pattern on instead. Oh, that could look interesting. Ooh. Okay, hold on. What about... Or even more flavor. What if we... Um, uh, wait, what? Oh, no, sorry. I need to go back to materials. What if we make the angled pieces keep those green? I kind of like that. Okay, cool. All right, now I'm going to go down to the other end and do the same exact thing. All right, so this side's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the roof on. Um, and we want architecture. We want the one meter roof piece. And we want to make sure we get that to line up properly. All right, you know what? If you want to start there, then you can start there. So that's where you really need to go. And we're going to make this... Um, our metal roof texture that we actually let me look at the tar for a minute wasn't planning on using this but <clears throat> tell you what why don't we do one side tar one side corrugated metal and then I'll decide which one I like out of concrete That doesn't... Oh, what the hell did I do over here? 
That doesn't look bad, actually. It looks what, like what you might expect a roof to look like, you know? Okay, that brings us to the top here. Now, what we're going to do uh, for this is we're going to use these glass frame foundations. And yes, I want them to go in that direction. We'll just pretend that little gap's not there. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. I don't have my caulk gun. Um, all right. Now, let's do this side in corrugated metal. Um, man, it really doesn't. It wants to attach to the square piece, not the angle. There we go. Wait a minute, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. And we'll change this to the metal roof. And then I'll run this all the way down, and then we'll take a look at um, both sides, and then I'll decide which one I think I like the most. Okay, so here's kind of the bird's eye view. Not that we're going to be seeing this view very often, but there it is. Um... Okay, let's go down and just kind of see. I mean, from down here, we're not really going to be able to tell the difference at all to speak of. Because the underneath side's the same regardless. Uh, yeah. I mean, you just... We're, we're not ever going to see that. I mean, almost never. Not on a regular daily basis, anyways. We'll put it that way. So it almost doesn't matter. Okay, let me... Um, let me think about that a little bit more. But what we're going to do now is... Let's take that out of there, and we'll put a... I don't know why you can't copy these gates. It's just really odd. Um, Alright, let's go to walls and um, we're going to do an automated gate up here, but I want it I want it to go the uh, opposite side. Usually I can get it to do that. Can I? Oh, there we go. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. Man, that flickering really sucks, doesn't it? I don't know what to do about that. There is something we could possibly do, actually, now that I think about it. All right, we'll come back to that. We're going to put um, these gates in the same positioning as the ones below them. Yeah, that one is a little weird because that's where the beam is, but that's okay. Oh, speaking of which, those beams actually need to come all the way down to the ground. Which means it's going to do the same thing to the other doors, too. Uh, nope. It's the wrong way. you got to get it... Oh, no. Never mind. We're not putting a beam there. It's got to be start sideways. Like that. I suppose what we could do here is just turn these turn these around. Uh, wait, what? And there we go. Automated gate. It's almost like you have it has to be or maybe you have to just point at that side of it. Okay, let's put these the other direction, just because I don't like how it's, you know, clipping into the the opening, right? It's clipping into the thing. So we'll just have that one go the other direction. I don't think that matters. 
a whole lot. All right, now I have an idea. What we're gonna do to, oh, actually there's a couple possibilities. No, no, we're going to remove all these windows for the moment. I love those windows for the bottom floor. I think they're really factory appropriate, but that flickering is just, wait a minute. Let me think about this one more time. All right, hold on a sec. If we... Let's go down to here and grab this T-crossing. With that in place, it's it, it seems to stop the flickering. Okay. What I was going to do, let's still try what I was going to do too, just to see <coughs> see what it looks like. Um, So let's take these walls out. <coughs> and we're going to uh, set them to one meter walls and go up three meters. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to put the windows in here like this. I kind of like that better, actually. Oh, wow. That Okay, so that even, that even colored these with the, or textured these with the metal thing. Hmm. See, I like the green down here, though, so I don't, I don't know. I mean, it looks good, actually. It does look good. Let's do, okay, let's do another one. I want to see um, how this is, oh, yeah, we're going to have a problem, aren't we, with the window and this door. That looks so much nicer, though, actually. I mean, this doesn't look bad. It, it, if we put more of these in, that does seem to eliminate the flickering, so it does take that problem away. What's good about this is it works with the door, and it, you know, the windows are well, no, you know what? It's still flickering. See, when I move my camera that way? Okay, so that that doesn't fix that. Son of a bitch. Is there any way we could... I guess we just don't have a window by the doors. I mean... I think... I think that's what we have to do. Come on, there we go. I really do like that, actually. Okay, so now um, we're gonna have these rails here. And they do have, you know, they do have the green handrails, so it adds a little bit of, of color. If we set these back to their default look, that's not terrible. Just out of curiosity, what does the concrete look look like? See, now that adds a, a, a lighter gray, you know, a light gray to it. Which doesn't look bad either, really. Hmm. I mean, so many options, you know. <laughs> I, 
I what I really like about this though is I, I, I like this kind of metal corrugated metal look to the you know the edges of the window there. I like this though because it adds even more color. I, I, I think we're gonna go with this. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so uh yeah, this is just going to run all the way across, except for I am going to make some spots for stairs and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to make all of this over here look like that. That uh, That's slick. i got to say, I, I like that. I do indeed. Okay, good. I'm not super happy with this, but I don't know what to do about it unless we just don't use these doors and use the normal doors um even even those aren't going to actually work though let's just look at it okay i'm going to go here walls and Center door. Hmm, okay, so having those in as green doors adds more color. The thing that just does I just don't like is this one meter area here that doesn't line up with everything else. Alright, this this set doesn't have stairs. So we're gonna have to go to the other Yeah. We're going to, have to go to these. All right, so that's not so bad because it kind of hides it. But I, I think, I think we're going to go back to the sliding gate. Okay, yeah, that that's a little better, just because the stairs kind of kind of hide the jank there okay that I think that's our solution and we can leave the green rails on the stairs to give us a little more color out here and kind of complement the rails up above speaking of the rails up above they're uh, not definitely not OSHA approved and I'll show you why here in a second. Oh, we're missing rods. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, here's what's wrong with these rails. <laughs> uh, not too safe, if you ask me. Not too safe. Um, these need to go the other direction. Like that. Okay. The other thing we need to do, too, is change this to a corner piece. Uh, one of these guys... Wait. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. It's just, once again, the icon... It represents it's kind of weird we ran into that problem with one of the paint lines for the road too yeah see it doesn't this is the right one but it doesn't show the 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 two rails so that's just kind of weird oh that's that doesn't line up either yeah oh, shit I don't think we can do anything about that did I did I get the other rails I did um Yeah, I, I I can't do anything about that. I I can't think of a solution for that. Okay, that one's correct. This one is also correct. Good. That doesn't look terrible. 
Okay, we need to make a decision about the roof. Um, I mean, it's completely six of one half does the other, you know. Doesn't cost us. Well, actually, it does cost different materials now that I think about it. If we change these to metal roof, it's going to cost us two steel beams per. And the tar costs concrete. I'm thinking that if I could see this roof on a fairly regular basis, I think I like the metal corrugate a little bit better. But the tar does not look bad. I mean, it looks very appropriate for the roof of a factory. But let's just go, yeah, let's just go with that. All right, so um, we're going to just change all this to metal roof. Excellent. So that is the final roof of our build. And we have a nice overhang and, and a little soffit too with some interesting looking material. I think I like it. There's a few things I want to do on the inside too. The lighting looks really cool in here with the uh, global lighting illumination on. Now, um, one thing that I was when I was practicing for this, it'd be really cool if we could put something in here that was like a vent. But I couldn't really come up with a good solution for that. We got the frame pillar. Um, and we got we got the frame wall. But that's awfully large and open for a vent. Right, let's, uh, let's just throw it in there for a second. Oh, we need to come down. I mean, I guess it could work. What's it look like from down here? Hmm. Okay. There's also the frame foundation, but yeah, I don't, that isn't going to work. I'm really surprised the game doesn't have a vent, <laughs> you know, um, what does this look like? I mean, from down here, I like that a little bit better than the other thing. Can you s stack rails on top of each other? Let's find out. Okay, let's go to Zoop. Nope, it won't. It won't go up. Oh. Okay. Um, all right, can we We can't call uh we can't texture those. Can we color them black? Yes, we can. Wait, what are you doing? Try that again. There we go. Okay. 
I think that uh, that's that's the best of everything we've tried so far. Okay, now let's try something else too. Let's just try the other rails because I'm pretty sure those stack too, right? Yeah, they do. Well, you know what though? That looks less like an intended grate than that does. So yeah, this this is this is not as good. So I like our other solution better. You have to hit the top of the rail to color them. That's what the deal is with that. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I like it. Now we have some ventilation. All right, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to... I, I wish we had a smaller, like a one meter version of this. The closest thing that we do have is the small frame pillar, which is probably what I'm going to end up using. But basically, I, I, I want some rafters in here. Uh, those are just too damn big. I mean, let, okay, let's just, let's just do that for a minute. doesn't work very well for here but we could m remove that top row of um, glass and just put the regular walls in for that uh, I mean that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be but it's just oh, really what the hell man it's just really big and bulky you know is a thing All right, let's try let's try this uh, small frame pillar. Oh, we gotta zoop it, zoopity doop it. That's already missing the the glass. Okay, let's let's do this along each one of these. Hmm. I'm having trouble getting that to connect the way I want it to. Can okay, can we set it there and lock it? And oh, look at that. Oh, it doesn't go. It doesn't go up though. Okay, so. Right, okay, lock it there, and then move it over. There we go. See, that That actually works okay with these windows, and we don't have, I don't think we have to take out the top portion. Um, is that higher than this one? No, it's not. Let's just put that back in place. I guess that's okay. Okay, lock that in place, move it over. There we go. Whoops, going into the basement. We could do a couple different things here. We could... Oh, okay, that's not going to let me do that. I was going to try and run, uh, run one right down the center, but it's not going to let me do that. Okay, so let's do this then. See, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10. 
Um, so one, two, three, four, five. Maybe on the sixth one. So we'll run the cross pieces on the sixth one on both sides. Okay. Just kind of, you know, gives us some ceiling support. You would expect to find something like that in a building this size. I almost feel like we should have even more, like I should do another one in between each one. Um, if we do that, though, we're not going to have these beams to support it when it comes up against the glass here. Let's just look at it. I might not, I might not like it. I mean, I suppose you could say that it's, it's welded into the cross beam up there. So I guess that's not as bad as I thought it was going to maybe be. Back, you know what else we could do? Um, no, it's not going to let me, not going to let me do that, is it? If I could get it right on the very end, um, I mean, what does it look like if we do it this way? Oh, uh, don't know if I like that a whole lot. Let's run it down a little further and then we'll go outside and look at it from out here. Yeah, I, I think it seems appropriate. All right, let's do it. All right, so we got the rafters in. I think that looks pretty damn good. The next thing we're going to do is we're not going to be able to put these lights on these rafters, which is a damn shame. It really is. Um, I guess we could put them all the way up there. That could work. It's just that it's, you know, it's blocking the um, the skylight. If we put them just to the side of the skylight uh, with the power connector, maybe on this side, these can't be zooped, can they? See, now why doesn't that one go in? Oh, okay, I guess it can't be right next to its buddy. That's interesting. Okay, let's just put, let's just do one section of these lights. And I just want to see if it works before, before, you know, I won't do the whole damn thing yet. Are we about in the middle? Yeah, we are. Okay. Actually, you know, from down here, that doesn't look terrible. Um, the first thing I want to check, though, is... Um, is it clipping through the roof? And honestly, even if it is, it's not like we're ever going to really see it. Yeah, it is clipping through the roof. But, I mean, it kind of doesn't look terrible, <laughs> you know? 
because it it actually adds a pattern. Because okay, so our only other option is to do what we did in the shed. But that means I've got to put flat ceilings down. Um which we could do because it down it sure solved the problem in here. The other thing um I want to do is Oh, one guy's maxed out. I just want to hook the power up real quick just to see um this isn't how I'm actually going to do it. But I just want to kind of get a feel for how the lines will look when we run them. Oh, jeez, that one's maxed out, too. Okay, let's switch this over to a Mark II wall outlet. There we go. Now, can we... We should be able to daisy chain these, right? Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, nice. I don't even have to aim at the insulator. That makes that easy. Okay. That doesn't look bad, actually. Um, you know, the wiring running along there. I think that works okay. Man, these lights are bright. <laughs> I think we're going to go with this, you guys. Uh, well, okay, before we completely commit... Let's actually try here. We'll, we'll stay on this side. Okay, so starting right here, if we get a ceiling logistics, uh, no, not logistics. What the hell am I talking about? I want architecture. Oh, right. We've got these, too, don't we? I don't know if it's going to let me put that on a floor, though. Let's just try it and see. This could work out really well if it'll let me get away with it. Oh, it does work. Okay. Um, You know what? Is it still... It's. I don't think that matters, though, because I think it's going to still clip. So let's grab that, that, and that. There are these, but these guys, I mean, they could work. They're just so damn big. I wish we had a, a two-meter version of this. Um, what about this? Can I put a light on that? I can. It just looks kind of weird that it's glass, though. That's about the thickness we're after. But it's, you know, it, it's just weird that it's glass. And you can see that it's glass. It's like, oh, what the hell, right? Okay, so I think our probably our only two options are either use these big fat frame foundations, which we could do. Um, or we just do this. Let's just stick a light up here and see what it looks like. Um, there. It's... Oh, you know what? Uh, it, wait, is it? Yeah, I guess it's sticking to that. Can I nudge that? I can't. Okay. It's 
So this will definitely keep it from clipping out, out the roof. I think, though, we're going to have a problem now, though, with it, um, wait, it's not even wanting to attach to those now. Okay, there was something else going on that allowed that one to work. Well, that, that answers the question, then. We're just going to, uh, no. I want to be careful what I'm pointing at here. And we're just going to do it like we did the first ones because that it looks great from in here, I think. And it's not like we're going to spend a whole lot of time up on the roof anyway. All right, let's get rid of all that. I'm just running a quick spaghetti line um, to bring more of these Caterium ingots down through here uh, because these lights use a hell of a lot of quick wire. Man. Tell you what. All right, let's go back in through here. We might need to um, just set up a a permanent quick wire production chain because you know we're going to be using a lot of these lights in the future. So I think I will do that, but I'll just do that off camera because it's going to be real basic and simple. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the quick wire to build up a little more, let's uh, hook up the power properly here. So let's see, we've got a uh, an outlet right there. And we have one down there, too. So, I think what we'll do is... Put one here. I'm trying to get above that wire there. All right, here. Let's just lock it and then... What the hell? Oh, oh, it's <laughs> it was going horizontal, and I, it looked like it was going at an angle, though. And we can just barely get it to... There we go. All right. And then we'll... You can't um, connect these in line like you can with the poles, unfortunately. Okay, let's get up here and make sure we don't burn our feet. to let's come up here uh yeah I want to, I want to go like that okay so really easy to hook up you kind of have it all set. Oh my god, how did this get? I screwed that one up. Okay, I'll have to fix that. <laughs> I just noticed that. Um, okay, so there, 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 to there. Okay, let's start on this side. And do the same thing. Is that in the right spot there? Yeah, yes it is. Start running these down this way. All right, now <clears throat> the uh, the next question is: Do I want to run another row? 
if we don't do that, then well, the edges will be in the shadows. If we do do it, this place is going to be as bright as the sun. Um, all right. Tell you what we're going to do before we make that decision. We're going to use our new uh, coated concrete foundation and we're going to coat the concrete and then we're just going to kind of see you know what it looks like with the lighting and everything this really makes things look nice in here man I love this stuff These, uh, those guys need to be, have the metal grip texture, replace them. Shiny. I like shiny. That looks really good. Okay, let's remove this and this. Grab this and this. Okay. See, my I, I guess my concern is that if we light if we do another row of lights, it's really gonna almost wash things out a little bit. I mean, you can still see the sheen, but you can actually see it better when it's, you know, when it doesn't have the real bright lights on it. I don't know. I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to leave it this way for now and just think about it for a bit. And if I decide that I want lights down the sides, then we'll put lights down the sides. Uh, we need to redo this business, though. Okay, can we take this out and do this? Okay, that's right. And then pop that back in. Except for I just did a double on that. Okay, good. That fixes that. It, it feels... Oh, man, this looks so good. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> it's awesome. It feels like I should run the lights down, you know, the outside, too. Even though I feel like it's going to kind of screw up the, the sheen of the floor a bit by doing that. So, yeah, again, I'm just going to leave it this way for now. And, um... Uh, give it some thought. It's looking good in here, though, man. I've... I've debated whether or not I want to do anything in the logistics floor. The thing about the logistics floor is that it's the, it's the logistics floor, and it's... You know, everything down here is just kind of all over the place, but that's kind of what it's supposed to be. You know? Um, it's kind of an out-of-sight area. Uh, it is dark AF down here without the light on, though. But I don't think I want to try and hook up those ceiling lights down here. What we could maybe do is... Let's look at something here. If we go to here... Um, all right, so let's let's grab some power. I'm just going to run it from here temporarily just to see what the illumination looks like.
Yeah, it see it just doesn't line up enough of the overall floor to be effective, I guess is the word. So I know in reality you'd obviously need lights down on a floor like this. But this isn't reality, this is a video game. <laughs> in case you guys didn't notice. Um All right, what if we just put one of these big ass lights the other, the other problem with using these lights too is there's no way I'm going to be able to hook them up in any kind of a straight line because, you know, everything is just all over the place. But let's just see it does <coughs> it does a lot better job of lighting things up than that thing does though of course it's this would be better if it was up a little higher and we could change the angle but it'll clip up into the floor if I do that so yeah this this actually works pretty well it's just that again I'm not gonna be able probably not gonna be able to hook them up in a straight line all the way down um, there's, I guess there's, okay, is this clear all the way down? No, it's not. See, we're going to run into a lift when we get to here. Unless, unless we could space them out in such a way that it worked. Okay, that's... That's going to require a little more um, planning and thinking on my part, if I if I decide to do it at all. And the other thing about that too is we don't have to have one long succession of lights down here either, like we do, you know, like we do up above. So that's another thing too. If I could just put, you know, maybe one on this end and one on this end and then go down and do one you know maybe on that end and one on that end kind of idea might be able to make it work I it's gonna be very difficult I think though for me to space them evenly so I'm I'm, I'm kind of burnt out right now <laughs> I mean I've I really enjoyed this um, doing this but I'm I need to take a break it's, so, there's one last thing we're going to do, though, before we wrap up this episode. Let's go to here. Let's grab the large bill. Oh, shit, that thing's huge. Okay. No, I don't want that one. What? How? Okay, this is better. And we need we need a crystal oscillator for that thing. I think I actually have one extra in here, but of course we can make one if we needed to. That looks pretty badass. Gotta say, not bad at all. I like how it came together. Okay, let's put that there. And... what? Why did they do that, man? When you put these signs down there, they're upside down. So, and he, there's no way to really tell that that I know of, except for just putting it down and then redoing the damn thing. Okay, so let's set this to <sighs> why don't we set this to a foundry? Okay. And we'll set the color to our lime green a background image. Backgrounds. 
radiant radial gradient. Text. Okay, so this is um, OG. Oops, caps lock. OG Industries Steel Plant. Actually, Steel Plant makes it sound like we're making just steel here and not steel products. So why don't we do steel pro production? Maybe. We can't, we can't change the uh, size of the, the font, can we? <sighs> Damn, that sucks. Okay, well, I guess that, you know, that, that's what we got to work with. Um... What does this look like? Just out of curiosity. Ooh, that's animated. Trippy. Um. That's animated too. Fixmas. What does wave look like? Just oh, okay, I see. It's interesting. Um, what if we put a steel ingot as the background? I don't see it. Well, that looks like shit anyway, but it doesn't show up either, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, monochrome. How come that's? How come none of that shows up? Not that I would do that anyway. I think it looks weird, but I'm just curious. I don't know. Okay, well, let's just. Go back to backgrounds. Um, I kind of, I kind of like that actually. Just, I don't know, it's just different. So let's go with that, at least for now, until I decide to change my mind. <laughs> All right, guys, this is future OG coming at you here. <laughs> it is actually the next day in real life. Um, I, I was just running out of steam. Um, you know, last night recording this, and it was like after one o'clock in the morning, I had to get up for work the next day. Um, and so, yeah, I, I came back and I made several more changes and I decided to just tack that um, on at the end of this video and show you what we did. So what I did here is I decided to remove the top row of, of glass and, you know, put the, the wall in just because you know, the rest of the building is configured that way too. And I, I felt like it should, you know, be symmetrical. I placed these big floodlights up at the top here, as you can see, um, just to kind of light things out up in front and kind of showcase the sign and all of that. I think that looks pretty good. And then um, in here, I added, I, I went ahead and added a central beam down the middle. Um, I think last night when I was recording, I was trying to do that and I couldn't get it lined up in the center of these beams. But then I got to thinking, well, shoot, just all I had to do is remove these two guys out of the way and then attach it to the wall and then add those back. So we added a central beam here and I think it, you know, that looks more 
like the way that it should be because then everything is just evenly spaced. Uh, on the lights, what I ended up doing with those is I did I did go ahead and put lights down the sides as you can see, but what I did is I staggered them so that you know it's just not one big row of intense lights. And I think that uh, I think that that works out pretty good for for lighting things up in here. So yeah, every other light is just kind of staggered offset from each other. And I believe that's all I did up here. I also went ahead and um, lit things up down here. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you up front. There's just a, there's a few places where things are clipping. I just could not avoid it. And, you know, if this was a real world situation, we'd have smaller lights to put down here. But you got to have lights down here. It's ridiculous not to, you know. Um, so, yeah, you, you would have smaller lights to put in 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 a more cramped space but unfortunately the game doesn't give us that option um, so I just made it work as best as I could and I also uh, went ahead and purchased the light switch uh, so that way you know when we're not down here we can just turn the lights off and we're not wasting you know any energy and then if we have to come down here to work on something you know we turn them on so there you go um, I had a lot of trouble trying to fit you know the ceiling lights all the way over here so I decided just to put these floodlights in for for this end of the building it's it's a little jank but you know what it works <laughs> so yeah and I believe then that concludes our building project for our steel factory and I'm very pleased you know with how it all came together so it's looking pretty damn good all right guys that's gonna be it for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, this was our first real significant build episode, and I had a lot of fun with it. It was a lot of work. It took me many, many hours to, to do this, you know, from start to finish. You know, first of all, testing and kind of practicing, then doing the recording, and then et all the editing, too. I've also I've already done um, most of the editing of this video. Uh, but the end, end product is very cool looking, I think. It's not, uh, you know, it's nothing that's... 100% unique and earth shattering. It's it's a fairly basic, you know, rectangular building, but I think we took that rectangular building and we spiffed it up and made it look really nice considering the fact that it is just a, a rectangle. <laughs> so, I hope you guys feel the same. All right, that is it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.